were you? Just in the clouds, listening. If someone saw you... How many times have we told you? It's too dangerous outside Kondok. I spent decades lost in space, stuck in hypersleep until Adam found my ship. And now I'm cooped up here. How can we make you more comfortable? Let me out. Diana, you've taught me what my powers can do. This world needs help. Earth's people are so divided. They're always fighting. That's the world without Kal-El. Batman has eyes everywhere. He can't know about you before we're ready. I'm not afraid of some guy in a mask. Ugh! I can bend steel with my bare hands. So could your cousin. Well... Well, what good are these powers if I can't even help Kal-El? We will, Kara. Just like you and I freed Diana from Themyscira. The time will come. We'll save Kal-El, and Batman will answer to us. Our best chance to stop Thrawn is a preemptive strike. Sounds more military than vigilante. You try calling the army? There is no army. Not yet. To break up the regime, we had to start from the ground up. So, what? Us three extradite Grodd from under his entire guerrilla army. Grodd's their alpha. Take him down, and the others will submit. But be wary of running into other members of his society. They're more coordinated than we knew. Next stop, Gorilla City. Guess I better call the sitter. Mommy and Daddy are coming home late. If this is more than you and Ollie are comfortable with, Dinah, I'll let Blue Beetle and Firestorm take over. No, we can do this. You've been out of the fight a long time. You have a family. Your family too, Bruce. I couldn't be there to finish the fight against Superman. I'm damn sure finishing this one. short hours, we break the yoke of oppression. Forever! No more regime! No more Justice League! Today, the world welcomes its new masters! The Society! Self-esteem, not that guy's problem. That's a lot more than a few society members. It's all of them. They're headed indoors, out of sight from the soldiers. Harley, keep the jet warm. When we signal, bail us out. Made it on a little thick, Grodd. You hire Superman's speechwriter? Soldiers must be properly motivated to sacrifice their lives, Catwoman. Hate is the perennial motivator. Better not turn that hate on us, or this society is over. As long as we have a common agenda, Captain Cold, you have nothing to fear. You mean as long as we follow your orders? Report, Deadshot. We're ready to move out. Good dog. Now go tell the others. Sheeta, Cold, you're with the first wave. We already lost a shipment at Slaughter Swamp. Hope your silent partner can still deliver. Maybe it's time you spilled the identity of our silent partner, since we're relying so much on him or her. 
He will soon make his presence known, but for now. First, a few words from the brave and the bold. <laughs> I'm the brave one, right? I'm not bold enough to disagree. The saboteurs of Slaughter Swamp, I presume. <laughs> Handle this. I call first dibs. A traitor again, Selena? I don't know why Bruce ever trusted you. I've got nine lives, Dinah. I'm only a traitor in most of them. So much for nine lives. Oh, that was graceful, Ollie. One of us needs to distract him while the other snips his tubes. Ouch. His venom tubes, Ollie? <laughs> How kind of Batman, sending his underlings. I will enjoy returning you to him in body bags. I'll distract him, you take snipping. Your spine will break like this. Now you've done it. That was my favorite arrow.
Now where's that damn dirty ape? <laughs> Darkness falls. Dr. Fate? Dinah Lance, Oliver Queen. In the past, I have shielded you from danger, but a grave crisis looms, and I do not know if I can stop it. You mean Grodd and company? We've got that covered. Grodd is the pawn of a much greater master. A new order is coming. I have foreseen it. Leave with me now, while I can still save you. If that's the case, we're staying here. Batman will need our help. Everyone and everything you know will die. I will shepherd you to safety, lest you suffer the same fate. By force, if necessary. The good doctor's been wearing that helm for too long. Then let's help him out of it. Watch my back. He should not have returned to Batman. You are not fated to fight his battle. Well, like a good friend once told me. Screw fate. I'm not abandoning Batman. <clears throat> Kent, you okay? Your headgear really had you going. I lost control of Naboo, the spirit of the helm. Thanks to you, I'm back in charge, for now. I have to go consult my masters, the Lords of Order. Pray they'll intervene before it's too late. Too late for what, Kent? What's going down? The Lord's magic bars me from saying more. I have changed fate too many times. This planet's destiny is no longer clear. What comes next? Mere mortals cannot stop. For better or worse, your fate rests in the gods' hands. That was... spooky. Yeah. Come on, let's find Grodd and get the hell out of here. You've overstayed your welcome. We're happy to check out, but you're coming with us. Fighting a talking ape wasn't enough. Had to throw in telekinesis. Give us a song to soothe these savage beasts. Ah, uh, I forgot to bring my banana arrow. Wait, you eat bananas, right? Or is that an offensive stereotype? You ignorant fool!
leaping gas arrow. I was just trying to be PC. Surprise that worked. Let's call it a day and get Harley out of here. <laughs> it's never good when you slap the cuffs on and then they start chuckling. Humans. <laughs> you've won this battle, but you've already lost the war. I got nothing. Your victory over Gorilla Grodd warrants further study. Green skin. Smart money's on alien. A uh, Martian? Like John John's? My point of origin was a thousand light years removed from Mars on the planet Kolu. I am... Brainiac. <laughs> Resistance begets violence. Then we won't resist. Please, just stop! You're the grave crisis we were warned about. What do you want? I seek the one you call Superman. For years, I believed I had destroyed Krypton and all its remnants. Superman's survival is an oversight. I must correct. Superman's no friend of ours. I am aware. But your planet has also piqued my interest. Its many contradictions are fascinating. We'll never serve you. Serve? I am no petty despot. I collect worlds, preserving their essential knowledge to enhance my intellect. And then I discard the remnants. Why? Your species values precious metals, arbitrary symbols of status. I value knowledge. And like your metal trinkets, knowledge is more valuable when it is rare.
Brother I, give me an update on the team at Gorilla City. I cannot do that, Bruce Wayne of Earth. Why not? Because I am not Brother I. and Brainiac. You cannot regain control. Over the past days, Brother I has been absorbed into my neural network. It is now an extension of my mind. You, a fragile human, captured and imprisoned a fully developed male Kryptonian. Maybe I'm not so fragile. To prevail, you harnessed advanced sciences, nanotechnology, satellite communications, interdimensional transits. I am taking these tools from you. Why? The Kryptonian belongs to me. And soon, so will your planet. We need to get Cal. Now! You're wearing the suit. Am I in trouble again? Brainiac, what can you tell me? How do you know that name? You're afraid of him. He's invading. He says you belong to him. Brainiac killed my parents. He blew up Krypton. You never mentioned that before. How do I beat him? You can't. Not without me. I'll find a way. This is my fight, Bruce! You need me! Bruce! 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 <laughs> 